Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Box Art Reviews number 20. Yeah, we're already at a milestone number 20. And this is actually one of the biggest ones yet. And when I mean one of the biggest ones, I mean there's like almost no games. So that means it's going to be a bunch of box arts from games that are going to be horrible. But are the box arts bad? I don't know. Let's, let's find out. But before we find out, I do have to say one thing. I'm sorry that this is a day late, but uh, on Sunday I wanted to do my Ghost Recon Future Soldier review, and I had no other time to do it, so I did it on Sunday, and I decided to postpone this just one day, so sorry about that. It will be up, the future episodes will be up on Sundays, so don't worry about it. Anyway, let's get into it with our first box art, which is Atillere Maruru, The Apprentice of Arland. I don't know if I said that right, most likely I didn't, but I gotta admit here, it's very Japanese, and I automatically don't like it because I feel very weird staring at it. I really do. It, first of all, it's like a pink-haired, 14-year-old looking girl with cleavage and the stupidest thing I've ever seen since Sailor Moon. Um, I mean, it looks very Sailor Moon, the way she's dressed. Um, and you got some two emo sons of bitches in the background, one's a dude, I guess, and one's a chick. I guess. Uh, I, I can't tell with Japanese RPGs anymore. Uh, in the background of them, you got a castle for whatever reason. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't know. I didn't play the game. So, um, I have to say, it's very colorful. It's very pleasing to the eyes, color-wise. But it's very strange because it's, you know, art design's good. But, again, it's a, f make your, make your characters seem either older or don't make them look like sluts even if they're 14 years old looking all right i don't care for this box art i don't even know what this game is but it's not horrible because it's very nice art design and very colorful i'm just gonna give it a 5 out of 10. let's go on to our next box art which is test drive ferrari racing legends the ultimate ferrari driving experience from atari rated e for everyone um <laughs> i gotta admit this box art looks so piss pouring actually i'll just say it. it looks terrible it really does i mean all right you got the test drive banner on the left whatever you got ferrari racing legends logo that looks all right um but the car itself looks horribly modeled i don't know why it just looks very strange how it looks i mean first of all it's overly glossy i mean glossy to the point where it just doesn't look right um it just i don't even know how to say it just looks very 2003 car model it looks like Gran Turismo 3 how they model their cars it just doesn't look very good and there's not much else to talk about in this box art. I mean oh look at the road it's very gradient style I don't know and look at the sky it looks real good job you probably just took a fucking picture of a real sky and I'd, I'd be very surprised if this is actually just a picture of a real car if it is then geez man you better lay off the wax because that thing's really shiny but uh if it is that's even more lazier in my opinion i'm just gonna give this box art a 3 out of 10 it looks terrible you know what? let's go on to another box art which is let's dance do 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 another dancing game on the connect do 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 that's pretty much what it can do only dancing games all right so the box art for let's dance um well first of all there's not really much art going on i mean you have the background which is 3d model and it looks all right then you got the let's dance font that looks all right too but and then you have the five people in the foreground um and <laughs> first of all you got that one middle chick that looks like she's from the like the 80s uh and then you got the whore on the right and then you got the weird girl with the red red dress thing on the left and you got the two token black dudes in there and it's like a before and after shot it's like one one he looks very suave and nice and the other one he looks really i mean it's not the same black dude obviously but <laughs> but it's just like now he looks all gangster oh no i'm sorry gangsta that's what they say um and he looks derpy face wise i mean look at his face he looks so duh, derp and it looks terrible it really does it looks very stereotypical it looks very stupid i would never play this game uh which means i will probably play this game um it looks bad it just really does i mean nothing in this box art or just box cover thing because there's no art really uh makes me want to buy it i mean or play it so yeah, it's terrible. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, just like Test Drive. Let's go on to our next one, which probably won't be any better, which is... Deer Drive Legends. Woo-wee! I can't wait to go outside and shoot me a buck. Well, this game, <laughs> box art-wise, is absolutely horrible. But 
there is one thing actually going for it, unlike Test Drive and Let's Dance. The background, you know, I mean, sure, it might be just a picture, it looks like, I don't know, maybe it is 3D modeled, I, re I really can't tell, but at least it looks nice. I mean, the water looks nice, the trees, the foliage, whatever, it looks actually pretty decent. Uh, but the thing is, you got the deer in the foreground, which takes up most of your attention at least because it's called deer drive so you're like oh deer look at that and he has again just like that black dude in the let's dance uh box art um box cover sorry uh it actually he actually has a dirt face going on like hey guys i got my beady eyes what's going on and then boom you're dead and that's what's going on uh that's what's going over your blood <laughs> it's going all over the place because <laughs> I'm shooting you, because um, you're dead, yes, um, so, yeah, he has that dirt face going on, everything else is very unappealing, too, but that one, really, it's just like, I've never played this game, he looks so retarded, why would I want to shoot retarded deer, they already have enough problems, um, so, I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 10, only because the backgrounds look nice, but the deer, he looks bad, yo, redo that deer, I ain't buying this game until you redo that deer, so anyway, let's go on to the next one, which is, game of the year, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, one of the greatest games ever made, period, bonus content, 5 out of 5, a must own game of the year edition version of Batman Arkham City, and this one has been unanimous as being one of the worst box arts anybody has ever seen in their life, first of all, you shouldn't have the 10 out of 10 logo from Game Informer be bigger than your logo for your game, I mean, sure, it's Batman, everybody knows who he is but geez man look how small the logo for batman arkham city is the bonus content just the bonus content is probably bigger than the logo for batman arkham city and it's just it's really bad to be honest at first i didn't think it was that bad because i mean i do like batman the way he looks on the cover it looks really cool i love the whole uh style of it where it's like white and black it's a really cool motif but for the most part it's just too much stuff going on like five out of five five out of five ten out of ten i mean i know it's an amazing game everybody should know it's another rocks i mean another rock steady batman game but jesus jeez jeez louise but I still have to give it credit because it does look nice with the Batman and the motif stuff, whatever. So, you know what? I'm going to give this box art a 4.5 out of 10. It's not as horrible as other people are saying, but hell, it's still not great. So, let's go on to our last box art, which is the only game I'm actually buying this week, which is Resistance Burning Skies for the PlayStation Vita. Finally, a new PlayStation Vita game that I am actually looking forward to playing. And this game, box art wise, looks good it's actually probably the best box art i've seen this week uh which isn't saying much because of what we've already had like four terrible box arts so uh this one does look pretty decent um you got the chimera guy he's all dead and stuff i mean he looks pretty dead he has a dead cat face going on which is very 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 morbid i know but you know he, he's nicely modeled uh you have that gun he's holding Still holding, guess, I don't know. I guess he just recently died. You have that pickaxe, which is, I guess, the pickaxe for the main uh, guy for the game. I don't know. His name is Riley, obviously. It's on his pickaxe. Um, the background has a very orange tint to it, and you see some buildings, and you see a little ship flying in the background, which looks very cool. Overall, this box art isn't terrible. It's actually pretty decent. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, and that is my box art reviews number 20. I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to another episode next week where I take a look at more box arts, even though next week I... I think there's going to be even less games that are coming out. So I really have to like dig for some games that no one even cares about next week. So look forward to some more box arts next next week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you and goodbye.